Exciting morning Monday. Hello. What is cooking, guys? What is going on? Yo, hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, German. Listen, in due time, okay? All in due time. That is what's going to happen. What is going on? Get ready. Absolutely. We are ready. I listen, I am over punctual today, okay? I am like more I, I am I am early, which is fine. You know, we can be early. No Nintendo suit. Why? I, I don't have that many Nintendo suits, man. <laughs> you know. It is better to watch on Twitch or YouTube. Whatever you prefer. This is why I stream on both. It is it is both of them are totally fine. You said it will be community mods today. Well, it should say either, I guess, um, where is it? Like either up here or down here. Is it always down? I don't even know. Wherever the title might be, it should say community mods and making an AoE attack. It's both of them at the same time. Or uh, one after the other, of course. I'm not doing both at the same time. We're first of all looking at some community mods and then we shall be doing an AoE attack. Why not? Is it too much to ask for both? Absolutely not. It is not too much to ask for both. What else do we have over here? Can you feature a mod I made mixing your tutorials and M Creator? I mean, it's not impossible, although I do usually try to stay clear of M Creator mods as they are, uh, you know, M Creator, I guess. <laughs> um, hello, you are from India. Love your videos. That's awesome, man. That is always great to hear. We've got an incredible amount of people like from all over the world. It is pretty crazy. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty yeah. That is pretty cool. You know, I what is? Oh, well, that was quick. That was fast. M creator, it's fine. Do we have to submit the mods on Discord? Yes, there is a community mods channel. From which I, from time to time, take inspiration and I look through and I now have a list. It's actually quite a sizable list, I'm gonna be real, uh, as of right now. Um, of how, like, of quite a few mods. We shall be looking at probably three today, because I'm not, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna just blitz through all of them. Uh, but it is quite a few, yeah, no, it's, um, it is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Um, total entities. I, d I don't know. I mean, isn't there a... Can't, can't you just press F3? I don't know. Isn't there something like that in there? Uh, but yes, that is uh, an idea. Time them out. Okay, you can also ban them, but that's fine. Do you use R2 factory? Um, architecture, you mean? Like to, to do fabric and forge mods at the same time? I do not. I've not tried it out before. Um... Yeah, are you making an AoE melee attack? Because we already have a pretty good AoE ranged. Crossbow fireworks. Yes, it would be an AoE melee attack. My idea was to make a, I don't know, a hammer maybe, something like that. And when you right click, we're not going to have any func uh, like fancy uh, animation. But what we will have is an AoE. Maybe we'll even add some knockback for free. How about that? Hmm? Maybe. It depends on how much we're going to be like, how, how long the community mods take, right? Because um, I have I have three of them, 
that are going to be interesting. Um, but uh, yes, why is there no? Am I crazy? Why is there no uh, event started in the in the um, in the Discord? By the way, it just ended immediately. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Or am I crazy right now? Well, it is what it is. It's fine. It doesn't matter. That's just some some weird stuff. And some ground particles. Listen, the thing about particles is that particles can be quite annoying. I'm going to be real. Can you explain how Sin Sinatra connector works? Like, how it works in the sense of technically or how you can use it? Because how you can use it is it just works. It just works. Just like Todd Howard says. It just works. Like a ground slam type AOE move. Yeah, just... Yeah, just uh, just so that you know, okay, how could you, like, do that? How it technically works? I've got no idea. <laughs> I've got nothing, man. I have absolutely nothing. Um, maybe I have to, uh, maybe I have to, um, interview Maddie for this. Why is modding Monday on Monday? Th literally, genuinely, Harold, it's, it's one reason. Because I like alliterations, and Monday is the only day that it begins with an M. So that's the only day I can make modding Monday, MM, and there you go. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> if, for some reason, Wednesday was renamed to Midweek's Day in English, then I would immediately change it to... the No, look, that's not gonna happen. But then I would change it to Modding Midweek's Day. I would do that. We cooking up Minecraft Mace at home. Yes. What about Mittwoch? Yeah, but it doesn't work internationally. You know, I, I understand. I thought I'm saying Wet Wednesday. Bro, Wombat Wednesday. No. There's also no... There's nothing there, man. And there's there's no way. I'm watching your tutorial for years now. It is amazing to see you live for the first time. Let's go! Hello, hello. Yeah, I mean, I've been... I've been making tutorials for a while. This is true. I mean, sometimes I'm, um, yeah, it's crazy. I don't have time today, so have fun. That's okay. Listen, maybe next Monday, okay? Hopefully. Mountain bike Monday. Well, let's, you know, you said that. You can do that if you want to. Okay, this is kind of weird. I'll have to recreate that. But that's fine. TypeScript Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, th there's a lot of, um, Things. Which system is best? Forge, New Forge Fabric, or a different one? Currently, I would say that Fabric is the best because it's more stable than Forge, because Forge is sort of up in the air, and then New Forge is probably a second. Yeah. I've been studying on Java Free. Yes, that's awesome. That is a great idea. The thing about it is that it's a great idea to have a solid foundation of Java, because that's just it's going to make everything in modding so much easier. Genuinely. Forge and Fabric Friday. Moon, hello, hello. Is there a day uh, that starts with N? There isn't, right? No, there isn't. I prefer Fabric. I, I will be real. It's I don't know if you know this person or not, but uh, Cygnus MC, um, a new, a relatively, let's say, new creator in the Minecraft modding community, um, they've been making like a lot of different... Um, uh, uh, sort of videos about like what are the mod loaders like what's who's behind forge and, and stuff like that i can actually show you how about how about i show you uh, this person right here seeing as i'm say lunar is their is their um name and uh they've literally done made a video right here we need to talk about minecraft's community i was going to look at this with all of you like do a reaction However, I was unable, uh, I'm not able I, to contact Lunar. I mean, I could have just joined your Discord server. You know what? Fair enough. But I, you know, I wanted to ask before I, um, before I just reacted. Uh, but in general, the, um, the gist of the, of this is just like, like, we are all complaining about crap. That's why, why are we complaining? Right? So it's like, you can see like a lot of people saying, oh, oh Minecraft is dying. It's, it's so bad and, and stuff like that. And also... We're all at each other's throats. You use fabric, you piece of crab. You use, um, you use forge. I hate you. It's like, what the hell? What is going on? It's really funny because at the end of the day, all we want is like, we're all like interested in modding, but then it's like, no, you are modding wrong. It's like, it's, it's stupid. 
But yes. The latest Forge version literally don't even work. That is why I just don't... Yeah. Th that's why I, I don't know what's going to happen with, with, uh, with Forge. I'm going to be real. Yeah. Definitely one modding Monday of all. Mm -hmm. What's up? Nice summer vibes jacket. Yeah, they are, um, they are, the, the jacket right here in this case is, you know, we got, um, a little bit of, uh, ice over here, like a popsicle, and we got an anchor, we got, like, uh, flip-flops, a star, it's pretty nice, a, a, um, a freaking pineapple, yo, a pineapple, but not on pizza, that's not happening, that's how everything works, people are divided in everything, uh, yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, uh, uh, people just need they 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 want their conflict and they're gonna make it if if the, if it doesn't exist then they're just gonna make it themselves. In Korea, is difficult to access fabric. Is it interesting? I want to make a ten-hour-long video of how Minecraft is dying and it's taking ten-hour-long parkour in Minecraft beta. That's uh that's crazy. Joe Fox, I cannot believe it. What are you doing here? Hello, my man. I'm doing very well, sir. How about yourself? Not the pineapple debate. <laughs> it's not happening. We're not we're not doing the pineapple debate today. Oft kaufe ich Pizza Ananas. Und essen die Ananas. Well, that's a, that's a waste. Can you explain how to add a custom item type like music discs or spawn eggs? You know. Been working on my own game recently. Yo ho! I mean, listen, that is pretty freaking cool. I like it. Uh, you know, I, I wanna. Man, I wanna do a lot of stuff like that, but it's just. Uh, it's been a few interesting weeks and months, I would say. That's 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 how I can say it. Working in the Godot engine. Yeah. Godot is really uh, freaking powerful. Um, I've been trying to get into it, but it's. um. You know, coming from like 10 years of Unity to Godot, it is, um, it is challenging, at least, to say the very least, you know. That's, that, that's one of the things that is uh, definitely to say, say, but yeah, it is pretty cool. It's probably going to end up being exactly like um, Blender, right? Blender in the beginning was absolute garbage, but it was open source and people kept making it better and better. And now it's pretty much, it's almost better than like any of the Maya suites that are like, that you have to pay for like thousands of dollars, or I don't, I, I, I don't even know what the what the um uh, way the to pay for that is, but yeah, it is pretty um pretty interesting. Surprised to see my mod has a Chinese community. Why? I mean, why not? How does that work? I thought that I thought that uh, China only has China like the Chinese edition. I don't um like I I didn't think that um normal java edition would run there especially not with mods deeper and darker has also more chinese downloads than u.s downloads fascinating and learning for this uh oh 3d yeah three uh, listen i i don't think i've ventured into 3d ever in in my game making things it's oof. me motivated to try and learn blender goes into blender gets overwhelmed makes square gives up yeah it's not People always find a way around in China. I mean, sure, but still, you know, it's it's still something. They have a special China, a China edition with their own marketplace. Yeah, M what mods have you prepared? Should we spoil the, uh, should we spoil the community mods that we're going to look at? Okay, okay, okay. So, the first community, I, I have three, like I said, the three mods we're going to look at in just a second, okay, after yapping a little bit, is going to be Project Shadow. We will also take a look at Fancy Health Bar, and we shall take a look at Divinity Unbound. Those are the three mods that we'll take a look at today. The, the community mods, of course. Uh, but give it a moment, you know, let people arrive over here, you know. It's not... It, it takes a moment, okay, for people to see, hey, we're live over here with Modding Monday once again. It is pretty good. Oh, yes. How about us have a specific... Oh, interesting. Mm, so a little bit of uh, a little bit of experience with the 3D models. That's fair, but yeah, it is. Um, man, 3D is uh, something else. It's like it's an entire extra dimension. It's quite a bit. Like that's that's a lot. Okay, that that is 
Nothing to sneeze at. When you think about it. When you think about it, that is quite a bit. <laughs> Nvidium. I have seen a couple of stuff um, with like uh, distant horizons and, and, and things like that. I haven't played around with that though uh, before. So that's that's the only thing. Um, what is this? What is this craziness? I don't. What the heck is happening with this? With the hair, man. I don't even know. Sure, that works. <laughs> Accompany me to glory or doom. Look on. Thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, shaders. Um. I am afraid. I'm afraid of this word. Okay, I am afraid of shaders. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what it is, but like, I don't. They are so powerful, of course. But like, it's like graphics programming, right? Basically, I tried once to do a shadery thing in in Minecraft modding. That was good. Not that was crazy. OpenGL. Yeah, I uh, maybe I should um, maybe I should just add to the eighty-seven projects I already have, you know, make it eighty-eight. What the heck, right? <laughs> Learn OpenGL as well. In the process of rendering in Blender, and it takes uh, it's taking a war. Damn. I only know how to make lighting shaders. I I wouldn't even know where to start. I wouldn't know. Where up, down, left, and right is in a shader, you know? What are the specs of your PC? 4090 and a 7950X. 7, 7, Not the 3D version, the normal one. So Ryzen 9, yeah, 7950X. That's pretty much all you need to know. 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, yeah. It's pretty beefy. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, it's gonna, yeah. Really cool building shader. Like when I place a piece to build. Yes. Interesting. Well, that's interesting. I have no idea how people make reflections in shaders. Well, I've, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I have seen a video on how reflections work in video games. And it's, it was very interesting. I don't remember a thing. It was probably like 20 or 30 minutes long. And I should probably remember stuff, but yeah, I don't, I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing. That's very, that's pretty crazy. Thanks again for making all the tutorials for modding. Helps me get into programming. Never stop. You're awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, why is none of this like showing up? Hmm. This is kind of weird. Um, well, yeah. I shall I shall uh, continue as long as you continue watching, I guess. Where are you right now so I can stole it? I don't even What? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Well, I mean, that is pretty crazy. Yeah, but honestly, it's going pretty good. Uh the um Listen, the 125, so much, by the way, for uh, for 125 not existing. Ha ha. Two pre-releases already. Wait, why is there two and not... What, what does it say two? Is the second one already out? Pre-release two? Is it already out? No. Yes? No. Pre-release one. Okay. Pre-release one is out. So, what do we think in chat? Like another week or two? Um... And then, and then it comes out, right? Oh, the PC, you want to steal the PC. You should not do that. That is not, uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically what we think, right? It's like, uh, is out right now. No, for real though? Is it out? Just, did it just like release? Because I've gotten nothing right now. It's not, I don't, um, let's see. Is there like a, oh, it actually is. Look at this. Holy. Look at this. Snippet. Enchantment for che uh, renamed to sheer brilliance. Mm. I see. I see what you did there. Okay. Using control pick a block no longer lists plus NBT. Why? Data pack version 40. Modified load function set fireworks. 
So you can now set a firework if there's a in a loot function. Interesting. Item components. Just now. Just some minor stuff. Yeah, it is very minor. Leads me to believe that there's probably going to release very soon. Because that is like almost nothing, right? Like, I mean, there's a lot of bugs fixed. But let, let's not get me wrong, right? There's a lot of bugs fixed. But like, doesn't seem like it's too um too much stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, then th the thing about it is that as soon as it comes out, first of all, I'll have to wait until, um, until you know, everything updates, right? So we're going to get wait for Forge and Neo Forge and Fabric for the for the stuff to, to happen. Hi, Joe. First time watching a stream. How's it going? It is going pretty good over here. It, we'll, we'll see. Ah, oh, yes. Plans changed. Listen, okay? It is what it is. Thank you so much for the modding videos. I've designed numerous mods, but I have never uh, thought I could create a mod the tutorial helped me so much that is awesome to hear this is like it's always great man i like the, sometimes the morning mondays are pretty cool because like new people are coming into the into the streams and they're like the videos are pretty cool thank you thank you i that that's uh that's good we'll see um what we'll see what happens 125 is definitely going to happen still don't know what neo forge is highest level overview we got forge right we had forge and fabric those were basically the two big ones right and then from Forge, NeoForge split off. Basically, the, their entire development team split off. And now, in theory, we have Forge and NeoForge and Fabric. And we also have Quilt on the sidelines. But, you know, that's that's roughly the... There's a couple of others. But I'm... You know, come on. Let's not let's not get too crazy. Let's not get bogged down in this. But, but yes. Um, we'll see. Um... But what did I want to look up? I wanted to look up what uh, if uh, Fabric is already like, did, did they did they already have like a? Oh, they already okay. So Fabric already has a build for pre pre release one, so they're probably not gonna take a long time. What does Neo Forge say? Neo Forge project, other versions here. Go here to the version list. I shall do so. Um, one twenty X is active. Uh, I only make mods with their original release. 1x0. I don't even... Okay, so Neofort doesn't have a pre-release thing just yet. They might have on their GitHub, but... That is... Un I'm unsure. GitHub Neoforge. Neofrodge is what I typed in. <laughs> Neofrodge. We have something. Ooh, port 125. Interesting. Is, is this something that's accurate? Two days ago. So we could actually be seeing Neo Forge pretty soon. Wouldn't that be interesting? I would like that. That was pretty cool. That would be pretty nice. Um, but yes, the um, 125, it is going to get you a new short series of tutorials. Um... I mean, mainly because there's probably about a million things that have changed. Also because I really did not look into 122 or 123 or 124. I did one update video in Fabric and that was it. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of changes. I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily looking forward to it, but it is going to be interesting nonetheless. But that is going to happen, 125, and then um, it's going to be a short one, and then we'll see. Watch almost the whole 120 tutorial playlist. How can I learn creating things you didn't make videos for? So the first thing is, and I will repeat myself a little bit, but that's fine, um, a good Java foundation. If you got a good Java foundation, the best thing to do is, okay, what do I want to create? Let's say you want to make an AoE attack, just like we're going to do in in later in the stream, after we looked at the, uh, at the community mods. What would you do is, either if you're like, wait a second, I know that this one mod adds an AoE attack, similar to what I want to do, um, let's, let's like, take a look at it. And then you go to the GitHub, and if it has a license that you can use, you go in there, wabam, and you take a look at it, get inspiration, try to understand how it works, and don't just, like, don't just copy it, right? Don't just be like, oh, this method, copy, paste, bam, done. No. Look at it. That's that's a big one. That's a big one. I'm curious about today's mods. Well, we're, it's not... Listen, we will get to there. We will get to the mods in a second. But yes, that is a, a thing. 
Then we have a applied computer science student. Any motivation tips? Mm -hmm. As a fellow applied computer scientist with a master's degree in computer science. Yes, you are allowed to clap. Thank you. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. No, but um, I think one of the things is that they, there are going to be things that you are not going to like, as in like, there are always topics that are so, sort of more suited for yourself and topics that are not well suited for yourself, for whatever reason. The innate ability, uh, you just dislike the professor or the lecturer or whatever it might be. Um, for those specific topics, the, the biggest thing is, and this is what helped me at least, right? I Maybe it's going to help others. I don't know. The biggest thing is for me was sort of this like ask the, the, the question, because this sometimes happens to people with like higher intellect. They sort of start questioning themselves and they start questioning sort of their own like I, I don't want to go too philosophical their own being but sort of like why am I doing this right why am I learning this why am I like trying to even like learn this stuff I am not going to use it maybe you know right you're not going to go into CPU manufacturing or anything so why am I learning about this stuff and for me what really helped is because I needed an answer to this why right? why the frick do I need to know this you need to know this to pass the test. That's why you need to know this. This is the, the, the trick that worked for me. It might not work for everyone, but that worked for me for the for the specific things that were not intrinsically motivating, right? Because, I mean, the things that you really enjoy, pretty sure you don't need the motivation for that, right? Because that's, the motivation just comes from the inside. Usually, intrinsic motivation is better anyway. It's going to get you better. Uh, it's going to make you... Um, uh, it's going to just get you motivated more the motivation is going to stay longer you can stay disciplined without a lot of different um without uh, a lot of uh, brain power willpower usage so that would be one of the things that could be a thing but yes that's sort of a rough overview hopefully that helps olivia hello hello long time no see hello we also have Vladis Crafter and Anto uh, Antoni. Hello. As a game developer, with a pretty good understanding of C Sharp. What would you say the comparison between Java and C Sharp is? Java is basically the following. It looks like C. Wait, am I crazy? No, other way around. C Sharp looks like C and tastes like Java. Did you see the pre-release today? I just saw that it came out. Uh, I have not looked into the specifics. Is there anything that's quite interesting there? Or um, is there something else? Three minute ad break. Listen, I put the ad break on right now. I, I don't think... Garter Snake can't probably... Can't even hear me because the break is going on. I put the three minute ads on so that we're like spare from the next... what For the f next like uh, 60 minutes, okay? At least on uh, on Twitch. Because I am multi-streaming, by the way. If you uh, have not noticed or... Um, I mean, you might also not care. It's fine. <laughs> That's okay. But I am multi-streaming YouTube and Twitch. This is why uh, we got these guys. Wait, where am I? There it is. Look at this. Garter Snake has a little Twitch symbol right there. And all of the rest have a... Have a YouTube symbol. It looks from this like distance. It looks weird. <laughs> looks like it's like an 18. <laughs> oh man! They did some changes to animation when you go to the end and Nether. Mm. 125 is going to be really fun. Yay! So basically, C# -sharp looks similar to C, but is written more like Java. Has a Java-like functions. C# -sharp and Java are very similar to each other. Um, a lot of people that um. A lot of people that use both, and I have used both, uh, is basically um, like Java is a little bit more complicated in the syntax somewhat. And a lot of people say um, C Sharp is basically just Microsoft Java. So, yeah. That's basically the, 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 the rough estimation over here. That is the rough estimation. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that's sort of the sort of a, the idea. It's gonna be interesting. One twenty-five. Oh wait a second! I I there's a, oh my god! There's two more things to discuss. Just give me a second over here, okay? This is quite important. Um, man, I mean, 
this is this is why I need lists. Okay, sometimes a list is quite a useful tool because it will get you to remember stuff. Am I wrong though? I'm not wrong. All right. So the first thing, and then the second thing we'll think about as well. Can I like do a poll over here? I don't even know how that works. Wait, I can do a poll on here as well. Oh, that's great. Okay, we'll do a poll in a second. But first, a thing on my uh, for myself. Get out your calendars and schedule in the very important thing, right? And the very important thing is my birthday stream. Let's go, baby. April 28th, 12 p.m. CET with an open end. I didn't want to make it a 12 hour stream again because I am unsure if I want to, if I'm willing to do 12 hours. I might go over 12 hours. I doubt it. But who knows? Lots of fun, games to be had, modding to be made, and I don't even know, man. It's like, we'll, we'll, we'll just see. We'll do modding, we'll do, we'll play some Minecraft. We're cooking up some things that might be relevant for the, for the, for that day as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, you know, mark it on your calendars. The, um, I'm probably going to multi-stream again as well, because why the frick not? I mean, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll see. Then we shall see. But yes, that is thing number one that I wanted to mention. So April 28th, keep that in mind, 12 p.m. CET. Um, and then we'll, then we'll see. We'll have a good time there. Then there was another thing, and that is going to be the following. That is a little bit of a, a poll. We will start a poll over here, okay? Uh, this is going to be both on Twitch and on YouTube, so you won't need to switch from one to the other. You can do it in either. And that is the following, right? Would you be interested, interested in a subathon? Okay, would you be interested in a subathon? Now, why is this a thing? Well, th what happened is that manage prediction. Oh, you can't even do. Wait, can you do a poll? Oh, you can do a poll, right? Flash poll. Nice. Subathon. Yes. No. Duration two minutes. All right, and then here I don't even know how long it, it takes. I I think I can finish it on uh, YouTube manually. And then here we'll start it on two minutes. So, are you interested in a subathon? What does that mean? Well, I would do a subathon, obviously. Uh, and what would happen is that I would, um, you know, we would do the same thing, similar type of deal uh, with uh, with the birthday stream, right? We would go for X amount of hours, and then every sub and or bits or whatever would like count towards um, a counter, and then the it would proceed. We would do a bunch of modding. We would do a bunch of making games, uh, playing Minecraft, playing other games, being entertained by other stuff and, and stuff like that. Um, I, I just want to sort of get a rough idea of like if people were would watch, if people were, were interested because I said in the Discord, like a couple of people said, hey, why don't you make a subathon? I said, I don't know if this, like I have a size um, of community so that it like, you know, makes sense so that there's like enough people there to, to like be interested in this. That's why I was, you know, just... Just looking to see, get some um, some amount of uh, idea, basically. Uh, do don't you need to work? This is my work. I mean, not like this, but like in general, all of this stuff, the mods, the modding, the the, the stuff like that. So no, no work. Architecture tutorials, and I'll vote yes. Well, maybe it could be one of the goals in the in the subathon. You know, X subs, and I'll make I'll, I'll figure out architecture live on stream. How about that? That would be crazy. Mm, think about that one. That would be pretty crazy. We get the 120.5 now. Because there was a... was pre Yes, Makoto. 125 does is going to come out. So much for for, for last week's uh, announcement. Or an announcement. I mean, I didn't make an announcement. But, you know. You know what I mean. Like, it's it's fine. Okay, yeah, okay. That is fair enough. I am live in Ukraine. Happens. I'm wondering when Mojang is adding new paintings in Java Edition. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Yo, I'm excited now. Why are you excited now? Okay, so on Twitch, three people said yes. And um, I'm just going to end it over here. And on YouTube, uh, like, I don't know. A bunch of people said it as well. So, uh, yeah. Bedrock got some new ones. I did see that... There were new paintings. I just didn't. Yeah, I, I I'm just not sure. 
Oh, because of architecture. Well, fair enough, man. That's, that's, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Um, I, I wasn't aware that it was a bedrock only thing with, uh, with the new paintings. I thought that they would immediately just get, get to all of it, but unbelievable, man. Minecraft made a post about new paintings. It's true. I hope it has changed a chance to happen. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of things have a chance to happen over here. Um, you know, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. Uh, but it is going to be interesting. But what does architecture actually do? Um, highest level overview. I write a little bit of code. And then all of a sudden, hey, you have fabric, you have forge mod all in one. Very high level overview. Okay, that's like, that is a, but you know, it is something, I guess. That is, that is an explanation. That is an explanation. But this is not everything that we have because we also have, oh, let me see. Okay, I've already made this. That's very good. Accompany me Yo. to glory or doom. Agodo, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, Jace. Bro, what is your time, man? Aren't you like... I don't even know. Shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> Kotlin or Java? Oh, Java all the way. I've not... Listen, okay? I'm old. Don't don't even... Listen, I... Birthday stream, 28th of April. I will be 29 years old, okay? It's not 30 yet. But what if you... Once again, if you think about it a little bit... My 30th is going to be on a morning Monday. That's, that's going to be a 24-hour stream. I can promise you that one. Because... I mean, frick it. At that point, just whatever. You should explore making new components in the releases. Uh, I feel like you can do much with the new component system. I have not looked at it yet, but we'll see. We'll see. 99% of Java 17 code will work on Java 29, uh, 21, but in Java 21, all new features. Yes. No. That's very good. Which platform is better? Forge or Fabric? If you're starting out new, then I would, uh, then I would say that you would probably want to use Fabric right now. Because uh, Forge is in a bit of a weird spot, and then we'll see. Um, why is Kotlin used in modding at all? Can we have a high-level explanation? Some people want to use Kotlin, and then that's it. I mean, yeah, I don't even know any about any languages. Fair enough. Are you just going to make potions in? Are you going to uh, do how to make potions in one twenty-five? Yes, actually, it is. Yes, I have potions on my list of things I want to do in one twenty-five. New Forge is better than Forge. Yeah, but probably. Whoever just said daddy should be put down. <laughs> Listen, okay? It's not allowed yet, okay? We'll see. We'll see. But! Listen, okay? Fabric Wiki is better than the Forge one. Yeah, but the new Forge might be better than the Fabric one. We'll see. Uh, I've seen the documentation, and so far I've been... I like what I see, okay? I like what I see. And that is, uh, that is like, pretty good. Like, when you look at it, that's pretty nice. But... This is going to be the following, okay? We were we are going to start with Oh, guys. This is now community mods for Minecraft. We are starting off with a very very fun thing and that is going to be Project Shadow. Project Shadow is a Minecraft mod. Let me actually double check my sources over here. Project Shadow is a Minecraft mod for Forge 120.1 right now, and it is supposed to improve the Minecraft vanilla experience. Now, there are a lot of people working on this mod, and a lot of names that I actually immediately recognized, because a lot of them are from my community. Uh, there is the owner, Shadow Beast LP. Then we've got the pro two programmers, actually three programmers, four programmers, Jeebus. We got Wolfie Boy 09, Zepert, we have Okamiz, and we have Mech Keith 1776. And they're also block mo uh, the block modeler and a texture maker is the unknown dad. And the thinker of ideas is Paulana Paul. Uh, and yes, they made a project Shadow. Like I said, it's um it's, it's quite a, like a big team, and we're going to take a look at it. So this, I have not taken a look at anything, but you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. So it definitely is extensive, as you can see. So uh, let's first of all take a look. I Like I said, I've not looked at anything before. Frozen Log, I actually kind of like that. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. So let me take a look. Um, okay, uh, this is good. A sign. This is what you want to see, you know. The signs, love them. Where's the boat? Oh, they made a boat. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I thought they didn't make a boat, okay? That would have been, that would have been a crazy one. That would have been a crazy one over here. Nope, but they did make a boat. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess the boat works. Row, row, row your boat gently with the pig. Merrily, 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 and so on and so forth. All right. <laughs> Okay, I actually, like, have to take a look at a bunch of things. Um, there's no... There's nothing... Um, this mod is not just a mod that adds boring stuff. It's supposed to add a lot of fun stuff to enjoy. Good. That is very good. However, how much time does it take to learn Java for... Uh, only for Minecraft modding? Well, I mean, I have a Java um, introduction. Highly recommended to take a look at that. Bone Ore. Um, steel ore. Ooh, there's no shields! Guys, look at this, okay. I, l I really like new shields. Uh, there you go, look at this. Boop, 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 boop. How does the armor look like, okay? Did they, any did they do anything fancy with the armor? Doesn't seem like it. Frozen armor? Let's go. Hey, Shadow LP is even here. Hello, hello. Yes. No, no, I know. It is It is in beta version, right? So anything that you see may or may not change in the future. So do be aware of this. But I did want to look at it and it looked pretty freaking cool. We got a heal staff. We got a levitation staff. We got a teleportation staff. Let me guess. Your home is missing? Oh, boy. Oh, interesting. Oh, is this is this working? Uh, the heal staff. I mean, that that would have healed me. Um, uh, interesting. I want to see if the if the levitation staff does anything. What do you think of the chance for modding to add block components? I mean, isn't that wow? Why does the what does the levitation staff do this? It's ridiculous. Why would why would that happen? <laughs> That's crazy. Are oh, the swords with the um with the low guard? I like it. We also have food and drink. Kohlrabi! I, I know this. I've seen this before. <laughs> milk bottle. A little bit of milk. Listen, don't make it weird, okay? I know I know how your mind works. The Ender Arch? Yo! The Ender Arch fragment? Okay, and then with it... Wait. Oh, you can't make anything with the Ender Arch just yet, but that is... Okay, okay. Endium... So where are the um, tutorials starting when? There's no tutorial. Molten? Oh, so the tutorial for the for the AOE. I don't know, in like an hour or so. Um, I would say. Take the potato in your hand. The stacked potato or the normal potato? Take a potato in your hand. Now, do the dance. Is the arch thing a helmet, maybe? It could be, but it is... um. I like the name. You know, sometimes sometimes just the name is like interesting. What for Neo Forge? Oh, for Neo Forge tutorials, that's gonna happen um 125. Hot potato. Oh. Nice. And yet you can eat it with be and be fine? I would have burned my mouth. I would have sores for, for days, weeks, months. Years. The copper bars. You know, just nice, um, just some nice additions. Oh. <laughs> it's not, listen, it's, it's in beta, okay? That's, that, that's the whole idea, okay? It's in beta. So, so that's fine. <laughs> no, but what I was saying is that, you know, just some nice additions for like some, some cool mods. Mojang added a poisonous potato snapshot. True. True. I really have to go back and look at the um look at the vanilla uh, sorry the 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 April Fools um stuff. Uh, I feel like that that would be a good idea. Um like the uh, uh, April Fools updates. Okay, so we definitely have a bunch of different new ores. Lovely. And we have a bunch of different new um equipment. Lovely. So uh because we have the mod developer right here or one of the developers the owner, okay? Where are we going, right? Are we going to go into new dimensions in the future? Try using the crusher block. I shall do so. Do, we, do I need a saw blade for it? 
iron plate. Okay, nice. Yes, I need a saw blade for it. And we will get some iron ore or iron... Uh, like this? Nope. Iron ore? Nope. Maybe it only works with uh, other things or it might be broken. <laughs> Listen, it can happen. It's beta. This is why this is why it's important to note this. No, okay. It probably maybe raw silver then. No, silver ore. Now, come on. It doesn't It's not doing it. It's not doing it. Red blaze a low low. A hover one, a heated one. Oh, maybe ingots. It could be ingots. You're not wrong. But why do I want to... It is ingots. Huh. You need brennstoff. No. The sawmill is enough. Okay. Brennstoff. <laughs> Listen, I mean, it's, you know... No, this is not brennstoff. This is where the where the powder comes in. The, an entire saw blade for one? Jeebus, man. Can I make diamond saw blades? Titanium saw blades? And they break with one freaking powder? Okay, that one, that one is a bit rebalanced. Beta. It's a beta. Beta. It's a beta version, guys. It's a beta version. That That's, that's fine. And we also have a mud ball that we can throw. What is this going to do if it hits a... Oh. Oh, does this actually... Wait. What? Oh, it makes me slow. <laughs> this is a small team of four. Um, we're reworking the whole uh, code, renaming it, to, uh, renaming us to Arcane Mysteries. All right, fair enough. Nice. I almost have a... Getting the races done for your mod. Elves, Dwarves, Dragonborn. Nice. The crusher is a lot better. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. The importance of adding a mud ball into a mod. Listen, okay. Maybe what happened is that this is like, um, still sort of remains from the beginning of the project where a bunch of stuff was tried out. That's, that's fair, right? That's, that's not, that, that makes a lot of sense, right? Just try out a bunch of stuff. This is over, that this is always what I say. Just do and add a bunch of things to your project. You can always change it. Hit a boat, maybe it crashes. Well, if they were smart, what they did is they filtered it so that it is a um so that it is only working on living entities. Well, okay, that didn't quite work the way that I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Imagine if you hit a mob mob with a mud ball and then they have a mud overlay. So like it's all like it's 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 just darker. The 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 thing the the view is just darker, yeah. Frozen blocks need to sound ice breaking. Yes. Frozen. There are frozen blocks. Stripped fro frozen stone. Yeah, there's normal stone. I mean, I don't know. If I mean maybe maybe they could be like a tiny sort of ice in there. Use this one for free. There you go. You can you can have that for free. <laughs> I release those sound effects uh, under the um, uh, creative comments. No, uh, uh, CC zero public domain. Only the uh, only those. He sounds like a silverfish. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! That's a good one. Just finished the boat tutorial. Let's go. Yo, the b boats are. <laughs> they are a nightmare, aren't they? But it is fine. MIT for sure. No, this one was this one was um this one was CC0. Boats are really annoying. Award for best game voice actor. I would really like to do uh, like voice acting a little bit, but I, you know, it seems there was this there was this okay, this is a tangent, but I I'm telling you that it is it, it it's going to make it sends after I'm done. There was this, like, for Dragon Age Inquisition, so that's, it is a while ago, there was this, like, public call to, um, to have, like, three people from the community voice, like, a couple of characters, right? As in, like, I mean, ten voice lines max, right? Nothing too crazy, but it was pretty cool because you could literally just go in there and you'd be like, hey, this is, you know, th this is, um, my submission, and then they would take from the community. Pretty cool. 
Now, what ended up happening, and I, I listen, okay, this is my, maybe it's just me remembering this a little bit wrong, or me just being a little bit biased because I wasn't taken uh, or picked. But the thing about it is that basically there were three people picked, I think two girls and one one guy, and um, they all sounded just incredibly just generic voice acting voice. I don't know how else to describe it, but that that that's sort of how it sounded like, and then I was like, I don't know, like I I mean I get it because obviously that just makes it a little bit more palatable, but you know I, I do think that sometimes it's a little bit of a eh. need to give uh, an alloy furnace via command. Oh okay, give Count Joe alloy furnace allium. Uh, this is the shadow. Nope, this is the. Project, 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 project shadow, project shadow, alloy furnace. There it is. Ooh, fancy. Well, that crashed the game. <laughs> well, that's something. All right, we find ourselves back until she wants more. Yeah, that's true. Um, it happens. The mouse released event handler. Listen, okay, it's fine. Um, but that was, uh, that's a crazy model. The model looked really cool. Listen, this is what I said, right? It is in beta, but you can get it right here. Let me just double check over here. There you go. You can get it. Project Shadow, as I said, will be renamed soon after the next version comes out. Something like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, do keep an eye out on this. Uh, it is pretty cool. It is, um... And like I said, the reason why I was looking at it is because, oh my god, I see so many names that I recognize from the Discord server. Pretty good. Do you do any commissions? I do not do any commissions, sadly. Uh, I just don't have the time for that. Uh, so that's that's just sadly going to be the... That's just the, that's just the thing. But, luckily, um, we don't need commissions. What we need is... Um, man. Disabled the disabled the uh, enough so that the cough did not go through. No, because we have the next mod on our list, the community mod, and that is it's honestly nothing crazy, but you oh, you don't always need crazy mods. Okay, this is a lesson in restraint rather than anything else, because you um you need to realize that sometimes a small quality of life mod that looks cool and does like one thing really well can be worth more than a total conversion mod that like is bad, let's say. Okay, so let's take a look. And the thing about it is the following, okay? This is, now it's, it's loading, just give it a second. This is, oh boy, I didn't change my mappings, that's not good. Um, This is what is called... A fancy health bar by Ephicos. Accompany me to glory or doom. That James fellow, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you. I just joined Wither Submit Mods to be checked out. You can submit them in the on the Discord server. The Discord server is right here. Let me just show this up. There you go. Oh, that's not right. That is not right at all. That is not correct. You want to go to Discord. Flash Discord. That's where you want to go. There you Accompany go. me to That's glory where you go. or doom. Uh, you want to go to URL net Discord, and uh, that is there is a community mods channel where you can um, put that in, and they will be picked. You know, sometimes. Well, yeah, that yeah. I mean, th yeah, like that's a that's a typo. Have you, have you ever heard of a typo? <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, what else is there? Yes. Um, there's also Oli K. Oli K, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then we have, we have this guy. Oh, I need to change my mappings again over here. This is the controls. And of course, it's a, oh, what, what, you have jump on E? What is this? Get the, get the things in there, okay? I am on Discord, is there a minimum version? I mean, um, it depends. It depends. Uh, it depends. I don't think so. 
Um, jump on E? Who does that? Yeah, now, now you're going to unfollow again immediately, right? <laughs> it's fine. Unhinged control settings, not going to lie. Listen, okay? You mother fricks. Okay, so listen. At least give me this. Sneak, left control, sh sprinting, left shift. You're going to give me these two. Th th there's no way, okay? Let's disregard the jump for just a second. Give me sneak and sprint. Okay? Changing those around, I don't think that is crazy. Okay. That's number one. We, we have a step. That's okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. The next step. Okay. Drop selected item and list players. I honestly don't know why I changed those. I just... I, I have this very weird habit of pressing Q the entire time I play the game. Uh, and I don't want to accidentally throw my iron or diamond pickaxe into lava, so that's why I had to change that at some point. Um, open close inventory with tab. I am unsure because I think I played a game where tab opens an inventory. Is it maybe Factorio? Does that open a, an inventory with tab? There might be another game where tab opens an inventory. So, of course, I had to change E, right? opening the inventory to something else. Uh, and then, oh, and then I'm going to be real. I have no defense for this. I just set it to E and it, it is, it, it's, it's nice. Listen, it's exact. Look at this. Like I have everything I need, right? So we got W, right? And then A ASD and I can just move about and E and then I can jump. Look at this, right? Woo, woo, hey, let's go. That's really cool. Okay. Most games, yeah. Uh, okay, that's uh, some games have tab as inventory. C, C. Everyone goes nuts because left and right mouse, right mouse button are swapped. <laughs> Can we? Okay, listen. E, you're all making fun of oh E jumping. The the Jace has freaking forward on P. The, another person has a it's a E for jump. I I can't even. Okay, listen. This is not okay. <laughs> Oh, it's ridiculous, man. Yes, it's E for jump. Hello, hello. So, okay, listen, this is this is a this is a mod that's made for constraint, okay, and not and not too crazy. It is called Fancy Health Bar by Ephicos. And it is uh interesting, okay? Uh what it is is let's say I am on a tree right here. Oh no, I'm on a tree, right? And then what happens is that you jump down. I want you to play Pay very close attention to specifically this, the, the, the health bar, as it is called, fancy health bar. Let's see, right? So we're going to jump down and look at this. Did you see this? We can even do, do this a bit, a bit more. Look at this, right? As I get attacked, th there's, there's particle effects. <laughs> I, I'm, well, okay, fair enough. But yeah, there you go. That's, that's um, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Is it possible to add screen overlays on an effect? Yes. I think it is. However, the issue is that it might be complicated because um, because most screen effects are done in um, in a weird way. Uh, but but it it should be possible. I, I, you need to you need to somehow set up a render or something or a custom screen. I'm not quite sure. It is quite weird. Can you tell me how to make a custom block when destroyed to replace with another block? That would be probably be the on replaced method inside of a custom block, and then once that is done, you can you can you can, you should be able to do that something like that. But you can also go ahead and ask in the Discord. Prob that's probably easier. Are you making something right now? No, I'm not making something right now. I'm actually showing off the mod by Ephicos called Fancy Health Bar. Once again, we'll take a look at it. There you go. So basically, it adds a bit of a bit of a fancy health bar right here, right? So if we hit the wolf again, don't freaking run away, man. You're gonna win anyway. So you can see if I get damaged, we get like a nice like a nice animation of the hearts being destroyed. I really like this. It's it's pretty cool. Like, it, this is what I say, right? Like, this is what I said. It's like a small, tiny thing. It's kind of nice. And if I recall correctly, uh, it is also configurable. So you can even configure, like, how much splatter there is and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Bone splinters would be nice, too. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, it's fine. What mod, mod loader and what mod version? Let me d double check over here. This is a fancy health bar, as I said, by Efficos, and it is for Fabric 120.4 as of right now. Uh, but it is pretty cool. I do kind of like it. It is um, it is uh, something that's pretty nice. Uh, let me actually also wait a second. I didn't even send this. So this was the first one that we looked at. That was Project Shadow. And the second one over here is the fancy health bar. Pretty cool indeed. Uh, fancy health. I, I really like this. And I saw it. I was like, you know, it is a small mod, but it is pretty cool. And this is what I'm telling you. This is what you need to make, right? You need to make these small mods that are just a little bit of a, just, just something nice. Just something nice and, and neat and pretty cool. That's what you want to do. And now, oh, 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 chat. Oh, chat. You don't even know what is going to happen. Okay. Because the next mod we will look at is pretty freaking nuts. In a good way. I want to, I might add, okay? When I get my base mod done, I'm going to release a beta. Nice. Sometimes the simplest ones are the greatest ones. Yes. Forgified Fabric API, best mod out there. I mean, that seems like it's, uh, it's like... I will say this. It's definitely um, a very technical mod. Underappreciated by the community because it doesn't do a lot. At, but it is pretty crazy. I will agree with this. Now... This mod, I have also only just barely scratched the surface and taken a look at it. But, oh, it is pretty interesting. So, let me make a new world right here. And then we're going to take a look at it. Or it's using fabric mods. Agreed. Sounds like a weird abomination. It's, um, it's, it's needed for the Centrea connector. So that the, that the mods work underneath each other and stuff like that. Can I find, like, a, another biome over here? This is kind of weird to me. Like a plains? Are there only ever forests? There, this works as well. That's fine. Okay, I'm okay with this. Alrighty, now, this is Divinity Unbound. Okay, and, oh Jesus, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> a Divinity Unbound. Now, this is quite interesting, okay? It adds quite a few things, as you can see. That's already pretty cool. Um, I have... I only looked at this, and I was like, oh, that, that's a lot of stuff. Now, there are some pretty crazy, like, wands. Look at this. There's an unholy wand that pulls ores from underground. Look at this. How freaking cool is this? I don't even... Like, that is crazy, man. Is it a little bit powerful? I mean, sure, but we can take a look at how this is crafted in a second. Um, but yeah, so that is, that is, to me, that that's, that's already like a pretty cool feature. Um, now, don't worry, this, you need like a Kronos clock for this, for which you need Celestite, and um, so you can see that you need Celestite for this, which you get from Celestite Ore, so you don't even know. Uh, this is not going to show up because I'm a dumbass. Um, but there's a super chat. Terzo, 11.99, you absolute mad lad. And my man is uh, saying thank you. Well, thank you so much. That is nuts. Okay, that's crazy. Um, I don't even know what to say over here. Um, thank you. Well, thank you so much as well. Um... So the um you said this is game breaking. I don't even know how to get all of this. Unholy ingots? You need unholy dust blocks? Unholy oh, okay. Unholy I, you can't even get this, I think. Gives you provides flight for one minute. Yo, what do you mean? That's a new status effect! Yo! Holy! That's really cool! Okay. Captures mobs? I don't... I literally don't even... Okay. Oh, oh, that's why. This is... There you go. 
Yo, Ethermod Jr. It do, yeah, I mean, kind of. Is he water, water breathing? Teleports to saved coordinates. Okay, that's fair. I think it's just updating the... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it is It is just uh, just doing... Oh, what? Why? Oh. Oh, it, it breaks when you uh, when you get out of creative mode. That makes sense, actually. That is a very fair assessment. That that would make sense. That that, that would do with this. Um, import card. There's also, like, there's some crazy stuff over here, okay? Sand of Time? I, what the heck? Oh, and then you get slow falling at the end. That's pretty nice. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. Space Forged Ingot. Space Dust. Um, Space Time Ingot? <laughs> oh, so you use a Time Ingot and a Spaced Ingot and you get a Space Time Ingot out of it. Yo, bro, that is crazy stuff, man. The Greater Wand of Healing. We also have a Wand of Magnetization. Pulls nearby items towards you. I like that. That's also pretty cool. Summons to temporary lava and gives fire resistance. Why would this be interesting? I mean, to be fair, it actually might be an interesting item to have for um, for PvP, right? Because if you get fire resistance, it's like... Oh, do you only get it for a very short amount of time? But like, that's not... That's pretty cool. And then the capturing... I, uh, where is it captured? That's the question. Also, my flight is now disabled in creative mode because the flight um, like stopped. That, that, that's kind of funny. Okay, maybe I need another... Maybe I want like a pig or something. Oh. Oh, there it is. A pig. Contains a pig. Okay. Nice. Okay. Wand of Respiration. I mean, that's fairly self explanatory. And then the teleportation is like, this block saved, and then I teleport back. Okay, so, so I like the ones, Pokeball. Yeah, it is, kind of is like that. Shoot spectral arrows. Can be enchanted. Where are you, pig? Oh. Nice. Are you kidding me? Okay. Donkey. Are you freaking joking? I missed it by like a hair. Mm. Choose one from each. Java versus Python. Java versus C plus. Kotlin versus Flutter. Man, the first one has me a little bit uh, worried. I'm un I'm unsure, man. Mm. I mean, JavaScript is horrible, but like at the same time, um, put sharpness on the arrow wand. Is that a thing that happen that that works? I mean, it co probably can be chanted with like with like other stuff, but yeah. Raider Haunt Wand of Healing. Okay. Arcane Floor Lamp. Is this gonna... Is this gonna work? Yo, let's go. Make some fancy, uh, fancy stuff right here. Um, space-time bucket. Yo, we got liquid space-time! Oh, what is happening? Wait, what the heck? Oh, it, it, it's like a... Oh, it is it's weird. It's weird like that. Set day. Uh, we also have a div divine torch. Not quite sure about this one. Now, the biggest question is, I and I don't know if this is the case, but if I do execute in, oh, there's no ex there's no space time continuum dimension. Maybe it will still be added in the future, but there might be. Some custom biomes. Hmm, what is this? Uh, it's uh, divinity. Yeah, <laughs> unholy divinity. No, no, divinity unbound. Okay. There's no new biomes. It seems like. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. You didn't choose. Uh, then I will say, Python, Java, and I have no opinion on the other uh, last two because I haven't actually tried Flutter. I have tried Kotlin before, but uh, only in. Um, this is cool. Only in, um, only for making an Android, mo uh, Android, uh, app. And that's, that's the only way that you can do it, right? I mean, you could do it in Java as well, but we yeah, we did it in Kotlin. Hey, players can face through, mobs cannot. Hold shift to stand on. It's Celestite glass. And then if you press shift, you, 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 uh, 
That's pretty cool. Okay. Hmm, nice. What is the mini glass? What is your app called? What, what do you mean you, your app? I made an app. It was in, it was in, um, it was in university. It was just like a, an app, um, that we did in like a, um, in like one course. Hello. Space time shovel. Does the shovel do something? Great choice, but it would actually, for me, JavaScript rather than Python. You know, I, I mean, I've worked in JavaScript for a, while, a long, long time. Um, I don't, I, you know, it's, it's fine, but if you would, uh, if you would, uh, you know, gun to my head, probably would rather work in Python long term, to be honest with you. Unholy silencer. I don't know what's going to happen here, but this has me intrigued. Okay, this has me intrigued. Get the space-time sword and get me some freaking unholy dust over here, okay? Oh, nothing's happening. Wouldn't that have been awesome? Imagine. I don't even know what would have happened over here. It's just been like... That would have been crazy. A speed upgrade? Yo! <laughs> this, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> that... That looks very awesome. I don't know why, but like, this is pretty, this is very funny. Yo, anyone's building a scythe, like a, like a tower? We got a, we got a quantity upgrade. We got a, we got some rif Wi-Fi. We got a range upgrade. I don't know what they're used for, but they look cool. Demeter's Harvest? D D Demeter's Harvest? Oh. Yo, this is, a this is, this is crazy, man. There's some crazy amount of stuff in here. The, there are um, recycling bins. We can put some energy in here. We can put some buckets in here and items. Look at this. Bam, it's gone. Holy. The UI does go crazy. I agree with you. The UI is nuts. Experience uh, armor. What does this do? Experience boost. That's actually not, that's actually pretty smart. How do you make that? With experience ingots. Of course. What, what did you expect this to be made out of? We've got the space siphon. We got a, there's so much to see. This is nuts. The divine replicator. Holy, what the heck? This is the generation station. We got a mystic chron, chrono, chronograph. I don't even, bro, I don't even know what is happening here. Look at this. Holy moly, man. I mean, th th you, there should probably be some sort of, um, what we say, there should be some sort of, uh, uh, like guidebook, but it looked whole, like that's a fluid tank. What am I observing here? We are looking at Divinity Unbound. Patchouli is a thing. Oh, wait. For Divine. Patchouli on CurseForge does not support 120.4, but you can download it from here. Oh, that's why it doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Speed core. Speed upgrade. There it is. Then you can put it down, the speed upgrade. The, the, I mean, listen, okay? Well, you, you can say what you want, but it looks freaking awesome. Space-time evaporator? Holy, man! Yo! What is this going to do? Okay, wait, well, I have to try this now. So we put in some space-time fluid over here, right? Liquid space-time. This is not a lot. Um, oh, no, 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 I need the, I need the buckets. Where is the bucket? There it is. Okay. Okay, put them, put them in there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, that's very good. The animation goes crazy. It goes wild, man. Now, the real question is, how do I get the energy into this? That's the big question, okay? Um, I don't know how. Zeus battery? That's how we're gonna do it. Oh. Creative Zeus battery, there it is. That's how we- YES! YES! I figured it out! Freaking. Oh, we can make space fuel with this! Fuel. No, 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 I need- I need- I need a coal, coal, that's what I need. 
Right? Let's go! I figured it out! Space fuel, baby! <laughs> Holy! Does it change the... Oh, the, the entire thing is empty now. Okay. It doesn't change the, the, the thing. Okay. I'm gonna be real. If, if the... Instead of the bucket, it would now have the, the coal in there and it would change. I'm gonna be real. That would be really fucking cool, man. That would have been really awesome. Persephone's blessing. I don't I I'm I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it is pretty cool. Okay. Proteus converter. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what's happening in this mod, guys. <laughs> but I kinda like it. Oh, I, I expected this to be much bigger. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be big. It's like, no, it's not it's 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 not that big, actually. It's not that big. A coal generator. Oh, okay. So we got a coal generator over here as well. There you go. And it's making... It's making energy. Nice. Holy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Damn. Oh, we can eat this. It's gonna get me luck. And that's it. Okay. The This mod is so silly. I love it. Well, wait a second. You gotta think about it like this. It's a wormhole transporter. You have to think about it like this. It's going to be a... It's probably in progress. Uh, and not only probably. It is in beta version, right? So obviously it is in progress. But it is slowly happening. You know, someone click. It's not that big. Are you for real? Yeah, actually for real. Royce, it is a Kelpen stream, uh, also known as Modding Monday, as of right now. <laughs> okay, we got an amalgamator. Ooh, and we got a wormhole transporter. Bro, what the heck is even this craziness, man? This is nuts. This is, uh, I mean, wow, we needs power and a hoe to run. We'll plant seeds from invent, uh, internal inventory. In a radius around it. Magical multi-blocks. Proteus converter converts grains of time into respective dusts. There's a wormhole transporter. You can have two chests that you want to move items from between across distances. Oh, you should review not enough apples. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Did I showed this already. I am pretty sure I, I had a community mod stuff for this. The enchantments. There's even custom enchantments, man. Holy. That is crazy. There is an incredible amount of stuff here. I will say this. Um, and what I meant is like, it's it's a silly mod. Well, wait a second. It's probably a lot of small pieces already sort of in place, right? We got the UIs for most of this stuff, like already, work already working. Can you maybe, you know, no, no. Can you maybe get the freak out of here? Thank you. Um, you know, we got the UIs for most of the stuff working, and like, it, I mean, it's functional, as you can see. Like, most of the stuff works. Man, I, I think that it just needs uh, uh, just a bit, bit of polish. Probably a way to get all of this. It might be the case that you can get the Celeste, uh, Celestium dust and stuff like that from the world, right? Like, the world gen might already have all of this. Although, I will say... I really think that this could use a dimension, right? Like, I mean, if you have a space ingot and like a time ingot, and then you make a space time ingot, sort of like a space dimension, like a dimensional rift, custom dimension type deal, I think that could work. I think really, I, I really think that could work. UX needs some help. I, listen, once again, I mean, if it's, um, if it's in beta, it's in beta, right? I mean, but it looks cool. Like this, honestly, I really freaking like this. This is a really cool like, block right here. Also, I just want to add, right, this is, not only is this a, oh, is this going to be, wait, I think that this might prove, oh, yeah, mm, yeah, I, I, yeah, I thought about this one. Um, yeah, so this is a, this is one block, but it's like two blocks high. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, there's a bit of an issue there. That's, uh, um, 
Hello, hello. But you know what? It is pretty cool nonetheless. I will say that. Um, there's probably like a bunch more things that are in here that I, I, I can't even like, I don't even know. Divine Replicator. Like I don't even, I don't even know what this is happening. But man. It is pretty freaking cool. Holy. Okay, wait a second. Let me see this. I searched the internet, but I still haven't found how to create client modes. I don't know. Uh, I haven't created a client mode myself. So this was Divinity Unbound. Um, man. I mean, it, and it is by um, Low Run or Low Run or Low Run, something like that. Um, but yeah. Create a normal mod that doesn't... Uh, oh, you can ask in the Discord. Yes. I mean, I don't know how many people can help with uh, client-side modding on the in the Discord. But, I mean, it is true. It is true, though, uh, that you can ask in the Discord. Now. Now. Uh, it is time uh, to say goodbye. I'm kidding. It's not time to say goodbye. It's time for AoE attack. Let's go, baby. This is AoE Attack. And this is, of course, software and game development, baby. Okay. Uh, I will go back into... I'll use the chair mod because... Um, I mean, honestly, I didn't uh, have another uh, project ready yet. So we're just going to use this one. Um, but... But to make an AoE attack, we are going to need, um, first and foremost, a hammer, okay? I'm not going to just go in here and not have at least something interesting. Okay, this is going to be a hammer. And, and, and when I say it's a hammer, it's going to be a hammer, okay? So we're going to do uh, the following. This is going to be a cube right here. This is a... Yes. Yes. But it... Uh, in before Evie is gonna join and is going to uh, look at my horrible stuff again. It's not gonna happen this time, because this time it's gonna be a good model, okay? Just like last time, the chair was great as well. Show your modeling skills. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Yeah, it's it's time again. It's time, guys. Uh, oh, it's three a.m. Time for modeling skills for my for for from uh, Calvin Joe. Uh oh, block bench. There it is. What is this? So it's a hammer. I do. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what? I mean, what else do I want? Three a.m. I thought for you were from Germany. I am from Germany. It's not three a.m. It, it, it's a joke. It's a. It's a. It's a SpongeBob reference. That is indeed a hammer. Let's freaking go, baby. That is so good. Look at this, right? That's like... That looks like a toilet plum. Is there still thing it looks like a toilet plum? You make it extremely detailed. No. I don't think I will. Set the display in hand. This is a very good... Uh, this is a very good idea. This is important. Because we need to rotate it around by 90 degrees. You look beautiful today, Kaumjo. Thank you. See, finally someone appreciating what I'm doing over here, okay? You know, not not everyone being like, oh, oh Kaumjo's models. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. Travis, hello, hello. There we go, all right. We got a six right here. And a 1.75, nope, 1.75 right here. And I believe that's going to be it. It is absolutely freaking fantastic. Why do you not set the skin to show up as yours? I don't even know how to do that. So that's why. Yo, yo. It's just a hammer. No need for over detailing. Agreed. This is almost like enough. It's, you know, it doesn't always need a, no, no, I don't need to import something. I need to create a texture. Hammer. Um, um, boo, let me, uh, let me double check. Okay. Um, let me see. I've got something. I've got something. This is, um, 
Don't forget the GUI. True. I love your tutorials about modding. Well, thank you. That is awesome to hear. It's, they will return soon, okay? Um, 120.5 is going to have a couple of tutorials again. Uh, because there were too many changes. I cannot let this stand. Um, I can't just, you know, ignore ignore everything that happened. I have, a, I have an iron ingot. You think that I can use this? No, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. No, I want to, like, just, like, put it in there. Oh, boy, man. This is not... I don't... I don't... No. A sledgehammer. Um, how did I do it before? Pink garnet? Import Accompany texture. Me to what does it not work? Or doom. Oi, Trick, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't... Oh. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. What are you making? I'm making a hammer. I think I need to change the stuff, right? I need to change, like... Like, um... Like how it... Copy the iron texture. And then edit in... in what is an AOE? An area of attack. How does this not work? Make the hammerhead an, an ingot. It's actually kind of funny. That's a kind of... That's a, that's a funny idea. I mean, you're not... You know. Oh. This is what I need to do. Yes! Plus layer! Wait, what the heck? What is happening? Can you get rid of all of this? No, no, no. You don't understand. Layer. Why no layer? Um. I don't why is it so detailed and so zoomed in oh because it's a bigger thing i'm a crazy guy i'm actually insane because it's a 96 oh look at this look at this all of a sudden i mean that doesn't quite work the way that i was thinking but um just change the uv um, yep, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just change the UV. You, you know what? That's a good, that's a good idea. Um, um, box UV. Oh, it changes everything. It, it freaks everything up. Looks like Mjolnir. Yes. Create texture. Rearrange UV. Box UV. That's gonna do it, right? Right? Am I crazy? I'm, I'm about to just use this. I'm going to be real. <laughs> well, how did I do it last time? This is ridiculous. Last time, I literally just dragged in my texture. And it was like, yeah, there you go. That, that's it. And then I copied the texture and that worked. Drop the session ID. I, I don't even know what that means. It's fine. Listen. I'm just gonna do this, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Let's go. Listen, okay? Pink Mjolnir. Why not? What what's wrong with that? Import texture, select face, scale it up. <laughs> no, it's another disaster of a freaking. It's another disaster of uh of. It's making a freaking thing. Why? And then you got this guy because I did the wrong UV. We now have a the texture in here. Oh, this is so annoying, man. I just hate it. I hate it. I don't like this. There you go. That's that's what you want to see. You love it. Yeah, yeah. Make it one. I know. I know. It's 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 weird. Without the scuff, it wouldn't be modding Monday. Aren't those words to aspire to, you know? Isn't, isn't, isn't this, you know, what is Modding Monday, right? If you have to put it in a few words, Modding Monday is this guy sitting with a weird suit doing strange shit 
with Minecraft modding. That's all it is. That's 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 all that there is to it. And um look at it. That's a hammer. Oh, it looks just like I just Okay, it's fine. Okay, because what we're gonna do is this. Average mod development experience. You're gonna love this, okay? You're gonna love this. Like this, right? So we're gonna do some of this. And like some of this. And even some of this. Yes. I don't like it. But it's gonna stay like this. Because frick you. That's why. There you go. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> oh. Oh man, that is so bad. And I was like, oh, making a hammer is not that hard. So I can't participate in modding Monday if I'm not wearing a suit. No. No, 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 no. You you can you can you can go this route. That's fine. It's it's okay. And then there you go. Bam. See, that's that's a that's a hammer. I just came and see Kamji making Mjolnir. I have a Mjolnir mod in pros uh, progress. Not gonna lie, I like the version without texture better. This is better. <laughs> Fuck me, it actually is. <laughs> it actually is better, man. Oh no. <laughs> it's so much better. Oh. That is... that's a rough one, man. Oh, wow. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. You know, if you... if you... if I wouldn't have done anything, um, it would have been fine, you know? That, that's... that's a... that's a rough one. That's a rough lesson to learn over here. Uh, let me just quickly save this. Once again, I don't want to take anything away over here. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. If uh, it opens to the wrong thing... so this is going to be an export of an item model. It's a hammer.json. Now, the real issue, though, is that if I have the texture, like if I try to use this guy, right? Sorry, if, if I try to use this guy, uh, it's not going to have this texture in my hand, right? Inside of the game. Inside of the game, it's going to be pink and black, right? Pretty sure. Um, right, it's not going to look like this. I'm pretty sure. So that's that's the only issue. And if I like no no no, and if I like create a texture, yes. And if I create a texture then it's going to ha this is going to happen. Which honestly, you know what? I might just use this one. I'm going to be real. I might just use this one. Cuz you know, you freaks, you don't appreciate my hard work on on um on my um JSON files uh textures and and and, and models, okay? You just want to see another freaking um, what is it called? Another freaking uh, yo, your texture work is fire. Put that fire out. <laughs> I think you meant to say your texture work is fire. Burn it to the ground. In Minecraft. Okay, listen. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for this now. Okay, so this is going to be. Uh, an item model. This is the hammer.json. Okay. This is gonna be the chair mod. Uh, I don't even give a frick now that it's called the chair mod, okay? I don't care. Hammer underscore texture. You know, that's what you get. You fricks. That's what you get. Texture. This is not a block either. It's a freaking item. You... There you go. There you go. Uh, Minecraft going to be... Uh, no, it's not. No, got owned by a blue tree thing. I own myself, okay? This is, this is, this is... Listen, it is what it is. It's, it's horrible, okay? It's not, it's not good. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, listen. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be totally fine. Okay, let me see. Um, Cotton Joe will someday in the future be able to make outstanding models and textures. 
Just not today. I don't know if this day will come. A day will come. A day will come. And so will I. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> Listen, okay. Register items. That's that's what we're gonna do. The day what? Oh, nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. We're just making a hammer. Ah, <laughs> uh, when I don't know, man. Day never what? Yeah. yeah, exactly this. It's precisely that. Registering items for for wait new room. Yes, I moved. This is uh, I I've I've said this before. I um, I have a. Uh, I have moved. This is why there weren't uh, any uh, modding Mondays for this long of a time. Uh, and now I've returned. Oh man, that's crazy. Um, I cannot pronounce the name Kaumjo. Has Java... Oh. Oh. I have, co I have videos. Okay. Sorry. I thought that you couldn't pronounce the name Kaumjo. Unbelievable. Interesting items for chair mod. There you go. How do I register an item? Don't make me laugh. Public, static, final, item, hammer, equal to, registry, not using Java RMI registry, very important, dot register, registries, dot item, and then we make a new item. No, wait, we make a new item, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, with item properties, but you use the item fabric item settings, New fabric item settings dot um nothing. Um what else does it need? Um don't say it, chat. Don't say it. Oh, you need an item. Identifier. Yeah, you're right. New identifier new item. Amazing. Of chair mod dot mod ID Old hammer. Um, so many registers. That's true. Registry, register, registry. It's register items. Count control is forgetting how to mod. Listen, okay, I'm flustered. Okay, that that's what I am. I'm flustered because you freaks are going nuts. Oh no, the hammer doesn't look good. What are you doing? Items, custom. There you go. That's what you want to do. And now we want to make a hammer item. Let's freaking go, baby. Do you know go? I do not know go. Go over start and collect 200 euros. Mm, does it call? Is it called start? I don't know what it's called in English. Extends item. Let's freaking go. Okay, now listen, we're going to do this. And I just want to do a use... Use on block. Yes, this is just what I want to do. And I just want to logger something out. That's all I want to do. Chair, logger, info. And this is going to be right clicking block. Okay. Uh, this also needs to be a new hammer item. And then we are good to go. What about durability? Ah, uh, frick the durability right now. I don't need the durability. I don't care about that. That's a hammer. And you know what we'll do? We'll do hammer with two exclamation marks. I feel like the Discord should have a chat for people to show their models and art of their mods. It does. It is called modding showcase. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's a it. This is a it's a thread, so it's thread based. Uh, but you can do that. Fabric looks easy. You know, it, it's it's fine. It's both of it is fine. We should now have a hammer in the game. Yeah, I think just this should work. Don't be discouraged, chat. This this is gonna work. I believe in myself. Yep. Okay. Let's see. This, yeah, we're we're fine. We're done with this. I don't need this anymore. Okay. This is so not gonna work. 
How dare you even suggest such a thing? Why would it not work? I, it's going to work. I just have to give it to myself. Slash give Kalpenjo share mod colon hammer. That's all that needs to happen. That is all that needs to happen. I think it's going to work. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why does it... What? Why do you need to download assets for? Top, top. Come on. We got places to be. This is morning Monday. This isn't downloading Donna stock. Downloading assets Dean stock. That doesn't happen. Hello. What is this? I feel like a, I feel like one of those guys that's that says uh, uh, th that's like oh my setup t took like whatever will source be available after stream? I wanted to make the source of the last uh, stream available as well, but yes, I, I will I will somehow make this available. I prob I I might make it I might make I might make a video out of this as well. So th at that point, at the very latest, it's going to be available then. Three terabytes of homework. Hello? It got stuck. My mod got stuck. Help me step modder. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, yep. Exactly that one. Hammer. MC Hammer Test! You can't touch this. Da 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 da. Wa da 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 da. da. The, uh, typical German internet download speed. My man, I have one gigabit. I have one million. One million is what I have. Okay. Why do you need a sixteen-bit profile picture? I don't even know what that means. But. What it means is, slash give count Joe. No, player. Okay, I'm not. Okay. Hammer. La, da, da, da. There it is. The MC Hammer. Okay, and when I right click, look at this. Look at, look at this beauty. Okay, it's not correctly oriented in, 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 in first person view, but that's fine. When I right click something, boop, then what should happen is, let's go. That would be very helpful. Yes. That's that's awesome. Okay. I guess another loss for the doubters. Good thing you didn't wage any uh, any points on that. Hmm? Mm, the texture is wonderful though. I'm going to I'm going to hammer the, a lot of stuff. If I if context.getworld.isClient is client and this is uh does it matter? Uh, I think it does not. Okay. And what we'll do is the following. We are going to get, first and foremost, no one doubt Kalton. <laughs> of course not. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get an area. And the right clicking, we're just going to make it so that maybe we will spawn a, a couple of particles. Okay. Because why not? It, it, would, it will look cool. Okay. So we'll get, this should be a stream of... Uh, uh, block positions that we're going to get. Nope. Block pause that we're going to get. This is going to be our positions. Uh, this is going to be equal to block pause dot stream of a box. And the box is going to be mm, a new box from context dot get block, block position. And then we're going to expand it by whatever we want to expand it to. Let's say four, right? This is going to give us a bunch of positions. We just need to strip out the Y difference there. Mm, I think that what we want to do is then 404. I think that is better. Yes. Because then we're not expanding upwards and downwards. Because that's a bit, little weird. I don't know if I found the modding showcase chat. I have a place to show off your models. That's awesome. That's great. That is exactly what it's for. With the positions over here, 
what we're going to do now is we're going to say positions that for each, right? And for each position called pause, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to just spawn a spawn a, a, a thing. What is an AoE tech? It is an area of attack attack, meaning we're going to right click with a hammer and then in a certain radius around the player, every mob is going to get hurt. And we're in the starting stages right now. We have, an, we have a hammer item right here, which we, with which we can right-click, and we're getting positions in a 4x4 four four radius, let's say. Or, like, I guess that would be an 8, like a diameter of 8, a radius of 4. And I just want to spawn some particles there for the time being. So this would be context.getWorld, uh, and then this is going to be cast to, yes, this one is going to get cast to a server world, and then we're going to not spawn particles, but we will we will add particles. Which one is it? Is it add particle or is it spawn particle? Can anyone confirm or deny which one it is? I believe it is spawn particle. If we're on the server, I think we need to use spawn particle. Um, if anyone can confirm or deny this, area of e girls. That's not that's not happening. Spawn is a bit easier. Probably spawn. Okay. Particle types dot. I never know which one to use. I think we can use crit. I think we can use crit. Oh, what the frick? Double? Mm, this is the this is the uh, position. This uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, do. Oh, this is pause. Yeah, yeah, this is pause. Yeah, pause dot get x plus a half because and this is very important. This is a very very important thing. Uh, that you have to realize, right? The reason why for this, glory or doom. Uh, we also have K uh, KV Milos. Thank you for the follow. The reason why we have to add the half right here is because a block, if you were to imagine, this is a block from the top, right? I know that it's not square. I understand. You can use your critical thinking skills to imagine this is a, this is a square, okay? Then what happens is that a, a block position is actually on the corner of a block. So if we then do half of a block in this direction, and then we do okay with Y, because that's okay, and then we do a get Z, and we do half of this as well. Uh, this is a D, actually. We don't want the F, we want the D. Um, then what happens is that it does this. Bam. Or, as the smartass says you can also just use block pause dot center pause but you can also do it like this because then you now you understand why you need to do this if i would have just done to center pause you would have learned nothing would have you that's what i'm saying so now you know and you've learned something for life no one will take that away from you we don't need any delta for any of them and we don't need any speed not for not for right now at least there you go. That's it. So now we should, in theory, spawn crit particles in a in a in a, an area. There you go. Freaking fantastic, man. That's what you want to see. This should work. I did not learn a damn thing. Is this my fault or is it yours? It might be my fault. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just, you know, I'm just asking. MC Hammer. This. Oh, this, okay. There you go. See it? Boop. 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 It works. Because I'm a freaking genius. Cube. Yeah, it's always a cube. You can, I, I don't know how to make a circle. That is way more complicated because it's a box over here and the box is always has, I mean, I guess two, yeah, two um, corners and then it creates a box. Yeah, I, I think raising it a little bit over here makes sense. Maybe something like this, 0.25D, something like that. I feel like my explanation was worse. Accompany me to glory I mean, or doom. Addison 22 oh, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is this is uh, looks like something that works and looks good. Are you trying to create Mjolnir? I'm just making a um a a an AOE attack. There you go. Look at this. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to exclude coordinates which are out of the circle. Well then, give me the give me the thing. How do I learn stuff for mods which is in your website for free? I have a lot of uh, free modding tutorials that are uh, available on YouTube. If uh, you don't have the means or you don't want to buy the courses, which are also available, but yeah. What are the differences between a double and a float? Uh, a double is a little bit more precise than a float, but for the purposes of what we're doing, they're basically the same. Um, they're both like numbers with uh, decimal points, with like points. Double has double the accuracy of a float. Yeah, that's why a float is also sometimes called a single. Like all of you. I said it, chat. I said it. You're all floats. Which means you're all single. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Ayo. That's too real. Too real for me. Too real for me. Okay. Lol. So now we have the sad but true. <laughs> Listen. Mod every day, chat. You will never know what's going to happen, okay? Um, what will happen now is that now we are spawning this. Mm, we are going to... I mean, not alone in the modding community, though. We all have each other. Yeah, we all love each other. Right, the Fabric modders love the Forge modders. The Neo Forge modders are just, a, like, they're just adored by the... by the... the... Forge modders as well. Uh, and don't even get me started by the outpouring of love from the Quill community. It's always great to see. Uh, what we have, though, is... We have... Well, I mean, we have almost everything we need. Now we're just going to go through and bam. When are you going to make a tutorials for 120.4 for Forge? I will uh, not be making those, but what I will be making is once 120.5 comes out, I will be making Forge, NeoForge, and Fabric tutorials again. So there you go. I'm, I'm almost like I understand how that works. I know how to do how to get the wait get distance too. That is a thing. I know that you can do the the get world. Get entities by. I know that that's a thing that what I would have done, but yeah, entity. No, entity. Dot class. Accompany me to glory or doom. Nick, Nick Gills, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, not to keep the conversation going for too long, but my ultimate could not tell if it was sarcasm or not. <laughs> Sorry. Slash s. <laughs> there you go. It's all good. It's all good. That's fine, by the way. You, that's that's actually I I I would rather you ask. I I actually think this is a really good idea. Like I would rather you ask than not. But yes, it was sarcastic. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was sarcastic. Uh, it's another box. Um. Bro, well, guys out here in the chat, like trying to trying to de dethrone me. Pedro says two lines. You explained it very well. Can you make a modding channel? I see how it is. I see you conspiring. You fricks. You fricks. What are the extras in the paid uh, tutorials compared to the free ones? And uh, what I highly recommend is you take a look at the... Um, you take a look at the uh, landing pages for them. That huge that there's a there's a list of topics that are included there. Um, you know, it could be the case that they are um that they are that there's something interesting there. Um, but usually so it, as a high-level overview, there's a couple of um topics that are not covered in the tutorials, at least in 120. Uh there's things like tameable and writable entities, there's a little bit more detail into energy and fluid handling for block entities and similar things like that. 
once again, highly recommend it to take a look at the um, at the uh, landing page and then scroll down a little bit to see the entire curriculum there. Um, I highly, um, I highly recommend doing that and then just seeing whether or not there's you know there's multiple different topics that interest you. Um, because obviously, like, if there's only, like, one or two that interest you, it might not be worth buying the entire course for that. I can totally understand it. Also, if you're just a beginner, it might make sense to, first of all, try to get into the tutorials first to just see, hey, do I even want to do this long term, right? Or, you know, pick this up as a hobby or a skill. Um, because that's, you know, it obviously, it it doesn't make any sense because most of the stuff that's specific to the course is mostly things that are a little bit more advanced. But yeah. Mm hmm. So then we have a bug, and then this is entity. Uh, no, wait. What? What? What is this? Um. Oh, a filter first. Oh, the filter comes first. Wait, I'm I'm confused now. Entity box predicate. Yeah, I was I was about to make the predicate, and the predicate is of entity. Yes. Oh, of t. Entity. Entity dot start writing. Yep. What if? Ah, freaking damn it! Then it's a living entity, you frick. There you go. Better. There you go. It's a living entity. <laughs> I could have done it with an entity. Why not? Um, I have a question about the Minecraft modding course. Yes. I wanted to know if you're going to launch a module on how to finalize a mod in the near future, so I can launch it on Curse Forge, for example. And if you ever uh, can throw in the course on how to use GeckoLib for 120.1. Well, um, I have something that is, uh, I guess, a consolary price. Is this what you call it? I think so, right? Um, and that is, I have at least um, the following. On my uh, YouTube, I have how to upload mods for to CurseForge and to ModRinth. Uh, I did make those two, um, those two uh, tutorials. Those would probably be pretty useful uh, in this instance, I would assume. Um, when it comes to GeckoLib in 121, I'm really not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna really continue with 121 now. I, I it's I'm gonna be real. 120 has been an absolute clusterfuck of a modding, like a modding um, version. It has been kind of horrible. I'm not gonna lie. It's um, it's pretty rough, man. It's pretty rough. Um, that doesn't exist. Get hit position. Oh, context that get hit position. Oh, get block pass. Distance to is distance within. But that would return a boolean though. So then you could do just like literally just do context dot. Wait, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you want to get the position of the entity. Get block position. Is within five blocks. I don't know. Is this not how you do it? Am I crazy? Have I lost my mind? Get a hit position is an exact 3D vector. Or can I get a first forge token key? I don't even know what that means. Some cool stuff. Is there a way to share those projects with your community? Yes, there is. There's a great thing to ask because. Uh, so, Peppa, we have a Discord server. There we go. That is under, uh, there's a, a Discord server. And you can, um, you can post uh, your mod, if you have one, uh, in the Community Mods channel. There is also a modding showcase channel in which you can show some creations, whether it be uh, models or, you know, funny GIFs or whatever might be the case. And also, uh, there's a bunch of other things that are going to happen in the uh, on the Discord server in the near future. A pretty cool place. Also, great to ask questions. You also have tutorials for Blockbench. I actually do have a couple of them. Listen, okay? All of you fricks that were just here when I made the freaking Blockbench stuff, don't even at me. Yes, I have. Listen, okay? This is very funny, okay? This is very funny. Let's create. Listen. <laughs> at least I made it myself, okay? At least I freaking made this myself. It was a self made. Entity. Yeah, I have a couple of them. Um, they're fine. They're 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 gonna get you started. 
but um yeah I, that's that's all i that's all i can give you <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's insane. Is modding showcase channel archived? Uh, no, there should be one um, that is not archived, but that is a... I can show you this. There you go. Uh, so there should be one that is a um, modding showcase right here. So it's under the Minecraft corner, uh, and it is a bunch of threads, right? So you can see that um, there's people posting threads. So you will have to post a thread, um, but it's pretty cool because you can, like, go through this and, like, see all of the different things. I, I personally really like this. I think it's pretty cool. So, go, like, you know. Oh, you might have to enable it. Yeah, that could be the case. That could be the case. Okay. But, that is not what we're here for. How I'm looking live stream clips. Oh, is it is it time again? Is it this time of the month again for me? It might be. Listen, don't make it weird. Okay, we'll see. Model. A little bit of milk. Listen, don't make model. A why did you milk. why did you cut it off at don't make it weird listen don't make it <laughs> oh my god it's not that big oh god but it is slowly happening you know someone click it's not that big <laughs> <laughs> yep mm -hmm. exactly it's pretty good for real <laughs> yeah, actually for real <laughs> but okay, we got a day will come, come. oh it will come yep what will come? And so... <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! What did I... What, what is happening? I can't even remember this. Tomjo will someday in the future be able A day to will what? Sending molds and textures. <laughs> Help me! Accompany me to glory Help me step mother. Order. This is very funny. Help me step mother. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> that one's amazing! That one's amazing. Dope, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, that was really good. I like that. That one's very funny. Oh, man. Oh, that's why. Wait, how does that work then? That doesn't work. Then I can't do living entity. There's no... It doesn't... It, that's not registered anywhere. Am I nuts? That's not how you do it. How do you... Am I... Where's freaking... Where's... Where's the... Where's the guy that's in the numbers? 7542 7410 What what's happening here? I thought that you could do this. <laughs> have I lost my mind already? I mean, listen, I have, but how does that work? Just because I'm the modding guy, okay? Doesn't mean that I know every single thing every time of the No, you're not nuts, you're human. We need you. It doesn't. Yeah, obviously it doesn't. Entities. No, no, no. Entity. Maybe get entity by class. Yep. That will be it. That would be that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, okay? Thank you very much. That was actually very useful, okay? I, I appreciate it. And now, you need enum type here. There's no... We don't need anything right now. Okay, the only thing we need is we need to do something with all of those people, with all of those uh, living entities, right? And what we're going to do with them is we're going to say entity dot uh, damage. Yes. Yes. We're going to damage them. Every single one. Damage source dot. Nope, this is not it. It is now in the. Where the frick are the damage sources again? Oh, I remember this. They changed this up. Server link, um, yeah, it's in the entity itself, right? I'm one of the devs from Project Shadow. Yes, hello, I've seen the uh, credits. It was, uh, it was interesting. Slap them in the face. Yo, are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Context dot get player get recent damage source. World dot get damage sources. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. This is such a weird way to do it. I don't understand why they did that like, like that. Why would they do it like this? I love how I still don't know crap about coding, but I continue to criticize. Go for it. It makes it way funnier, okay? It's it's just true. Magic? Lightning bolt? Player attack. Context.getplayer. There you go. Oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, how much damage does it do? 
one. Nice. Let's do four damage for the time being. And now, this is, this is an AOE attack, okay? Now we're going to change this to four, I'm pretty sure. Reminds me of the time Carlton made a plane. What's your favorite piece of candy? You are not going to like me, okay? Listen, you are going to really not like this. I am currently obsessed with this guy. That is a licorice bonbon that is absolutely freaking delicious, okay? It is absolutely freaking delicious. I love these, and they're so good, and I could eat them the entire day. They're so good. I love this. Where are you from? I am from Germany. That does look good. No one doubt Kaum. Say bonbon again. <laughs> Listen, I have no idea how the frick it's pronounced in English, okay? I've never heard that word ever in my entire life in English. Disappearing for a bit, I will be back. All right. Go drunk. No, I will not. La Kritz is good. Thank you. At least someone appreciates the licorice. Okay. That's what you want to hear. Do you think it would work? I like it too. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, there you go. And now, you know what's going to work? MC Hammer. You can touch this. I did this joke before. And I'll freaking do it again. Man, a little bit of water. Bonbon. Like it's in French. Bonbon. Bienvenue. Je m'appelle Calpenjo. Je suis... Um... Je suis... I got nothing, man. I, I have no idea. Bro. I completely blanked on French over here. Un, deux, trois. 406789910 Sounds more French than German. Wow, that's some good French you've got. I'm gonna What the heck was that? Did you see that, Fox? Holy! What is this? Holy! What a <laughs> What a guy! <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> what the heck was that, man? Whoa! The hammer damages the player too. God damn it, you're right. It's stuck. Listen, okay? We're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. No, 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 no. That ain't happening. Also, thank you for, for complimenting my French. I've been learning German for nine years. I can speak more French after two. Listen, okay? That's, um... Small price to play. Je ne peux pas de français. Oui, oui. G. I I got nothing. I can't even make a sentence, man. I can't even make a sentence. It's a small price to pay so for salvation. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Clip the fox. Absolutely, you gotta clip the fox. Let's see the hammer. Wait, what? Hello? Oh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I I I know what I don't know what's going on here, okay. It's because of the Y va but why would the Y value like oh, the distance doesn't matter over here? Now in survival, plus one vertical. I don't know why that wouldn't work though. The square distance should go in all directions. It's another W for the doubters. What are you talking about? It worked! There's no W for the doubters, you freaking... You piece. But why is it... Why would that be the case, though? I don't understand that. That is very strange. Um, that is very strange. Uh, the predicate only applies to the things in the box. You're correct. You are absolutely correct. 
Does expand plus one? Or does it it does plus one? Okay. That's all I that's all I needed to know. There you go. Bam. Boom! And we also don't need to do distance of six. Distance of four is enough. Boom! That's gonna do it. Oh no, it's not gonna do it. Um, entity, wait a second, uh, is within distance and entity, um, unequals, uh, context dot get player. There you go. Yeah. So now you will not get yourself damaged. Is fabric easier than forge? Do any of them make a difference? If you want to start in 120.1 or upwards, I highly recommend you choose fabric in this case. Uh, because 120, as I said, has been a pretty crazy um, version to do anything. Um, it's not been it's it's been it's been a rough one. It's been a rough one. So um, fabric in this instance is probably a bit better in this case. Once 121 rolls around, it might change. But for the time being, it's it's fine. Let's freaking go, baby! Look at this. Hey, we attack, baby. And you all doubted me. The doubters. Losing all their points. Okay? Because you can't touch this MC Hammer. Did it, Was MC Hammer even the person that did uh, you can't touch this? Yes, it was MC Hammer. I, for a second, I was like, wait, does this j joke actually make zero sense, by the way? That would be crazy. Message you on Discord. Well, um, I want you to um, please take a look at the rules in the Discord. Um, I do appreciate it, and I am, of course, uh, always willing to help if I do have the time. Uh, however, I, you know, it, the rules on the Discord do not really do... Um, I, I don't do the whole DM thing uh, because it would be way too much. I, I sadly can't really help in DMs. If there are issues that you have in terms of modding, you are free to uh, feel free to make a thread in Forge, Fabric Help, or in the Programming or Additional Help channels. Uh, then someone hopefully is going to be able to help you out in that regard. Um, yeah, that's that's usually the case. Uh, I, I'm just unable to. It would be too much. That's sadly the the, the case. And you just spam it, and it does a whole lot of damage. I think it. I yes. I think it would work, yes. Why does it just attack the freaking cow? Bro, it has so much health! Well, you can try to attack me. Oh, hello? You can try to attack me. It's all living beings. True. Except for myself. Oh! Mm, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> that was, that's a jump scare and a half, man. <laughs> You're only doing one damage. It should be four damage! Four damage. Which is gonna be two hearts, so... Does context get player include other players? They will not. No. Other players will get a damage by this. Um. What was the other? What was. The, oh, uh, um. Sure. Cool down. Accompany me to Why glory not? or doom. Errol Davis, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. How do you know what to do when you want? Like, you made this hammer without a video. This is correct. How do you know where to go and what to put? I will show you. Oh, wait, you're on Twitch. Yes, Savannah. I am uh, multi-streaming on Twitch and on YouTube as of this uh, moment uh, because uh, Twitch allows it. And uh, why not? You know, it's, uh, it's just a nice, uh, nice thing. So if you, uh, you know, enjoy Twitch more, absolutely feel free to, um, to hop over. I have yet to make a... Nice little, like, uh, I should make, like, a thing. I don't know. Why is no one subbing? Listen, if you have a Twitch Prime lying around and you're not using it, go to Twitch 
and use your Twitch Prime. You know, it's Bezos money. It's fr it, like, it's just lying out there. Like, wh what are you doing? But if you don't have it, that's fine. There's no, there's no need to, to do anything. Okay. I'm just saying. But what I will say is that Nick had a good question. So the question is, there it is. So now. Welcome to the King's Brownie, Court. thank you for the, uh, thank you for the um, Prime sub over here. Thank you. Um, so Nick had a, had a question. So how do you know what to do? Right. And that is the, that is the, like, if I want to make this, like, how did I figure this out? Well, it, it's a, it's a rough thing. So there are a couple of ways to do this. I personally, I think the best way to go about this is you start with Java, of course. Like we talked about this the last like one and a half hours, basically. You have a solid foundation of Java or at least programming, right? If you can do C++, C, C Sharp, the, all of those are fine. Uh, any type of, any type of, um, uh, any type of programming background, right? That, that, that's basically going to be okay. Now, once you have that, then you can... For example, there's a couple of options, right? I would then uh, suggest you take a look at a couple of tutorials. Now, mine are fine. You can also look at Turdy Wordies. Th those are great as well. There are, I think, like, you know, one or two others. I don't think they're updated anymore, but, you know, that's fine. So basically, you've got mine or Turdy Wordies. That's fine. Accompany me and to glory basically, start with that. Also, Gaboot, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you. Um, you got that. Uh, and then learn how to add an item, how to add a block, and maybe like one or two more complicated things. So then you can make an item and make a block, right? And you should repeat that a couple of times until you can just do it, like without the video. Um, because that's going to be a thing that you're always going to be doing. Uh, and then think about, okay, I want to now make a, a, a small, like an item that's not too complicated. Accompany For example, right, uh, an item, and I, when I right-click a block, something happens, right? So what that is, is I call that an advanced item. And um, an advanced item is basically just an item with an item class, right? So so this one right here would be an advanced item. If I were to take a look at the uh, vanilla classes, which is another thing that you can do, right? You can tap uh, shift twice, and I can put in items right here. Include non-project items. And this is going to get me to the items class. And you can see these are all of the items from vanilla. Also, we have banana to scanner. Thank you for the follow as well. That is a great name, by the way. And you can see that they're all right here. And if I were to, for example, say I want to know how the frick does a... Mm, let me actually see. Let me see something interesting. Um, how does the brush work, right? I can then go brush and I can search for it. And I can see the brush right here is a brush item versus the echo shard, which is just a normal item, right? So this is a normal item with no additional functionality to it whatsoever. And then the brush item, if I middle mouse button click on this, you can then see this is all of the code for the brush item. So I'm like, how does the brush item do stuff, right? Well, use on block, we've actually seen previously with the hammer, right? This is the method that gets called when you right click with a item of this type on a block. Right, so, and that is exactly how a brush would work, right? So you right click with this on a block, it looks, hey, we get the player, and that can't be null. Okay, fair enough. So this would basically be something like auto clickers don't work but regardless. But then we're like, hey, this is a hit result, right? And if we hit a block right here, then we're doing some other stuff, right? Uh, so that is one thing. And then it, basically the usage tick is when you continuously right click with it, and that then, as you can see, it gets quite complicated, which is one of the reasons why the Java and Programming Foundation is so important. Because you are not going to understand this again. Like, this is craziness, right? Like, look at this. Right? To, to understand this, you need to get at least a little bit of, of, of background. But yeah, that is basically the idea here. Accompany um, me to glory or doom. So, so, you know, get a good foundation launch into a couple of tutorials get like learn how to make an item how to make a how to make a block and then do small steps and then the next step and this is the <laughs> yeah exactly this one and this is the big one and that is going to be github okay this is what you will love okay so let's say for example i would want to go to alex's caves probably have seen this look at this right you can look at, uh, I don't know what the, uh, what is the, what is the, um, what's the uh, um, thing on that? 
Alex's caves. I don't want to do an uh, all rights reserved and just look into the look into the code. That would be a bit of a G. Okay, that's fine. Um, so you can go into the code of Alex's caves and you can take a look at every single thing that Alex's caves has. We look at server. We're like, how do the entities work there? Quabam, right? I go in here. I'm like a living entity. What do we? What do you want to look at? The deep one. Sure. So let's take a look at the deep one entity. And you can see there are animations over here. There is an entity dimension, which is called a swimming size, right? What does this mean? Well, an entity dimension is how big is the entity hitbox, right? And you can see that it changes apparently when this person, or like this, this, this person, this entity is swimming. Fascinating, right? You can see the, there's a loot table apparently that is a Bartle loot table, right? You can see the attack behavior. You can see the trading animations. So there are so many different things and it's just, it's just fascinating, right? So, so you can, and this is basically the last step of them all, right? Taking a look at other GitHub repositories of other mods. That is the highest step, but also the one where you probably need the most Java foundation. There you go. I know I should ask in the discord, but what about poi types? Um, you need to register it with villagers. This is true. I have a, I, I, th I feel like I have a tutorial on that. I feel like I've done that in the, in the, didn't I do, didn't I do a uh, villagers last time? I feel like I did villagers, right? Yeah, villagers. There you go. Custom villager types. And that should have the poi type in there as well. If a block, uh, the hammer hits is knocked away too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that exactly because with sand, it's like it, it turns into like a gravity block. So I don't, I don't know how about how, how that exactly works. The modern community is probably one of the uh, with the most mods which are open source. That is very, tr that is very true. Yes, I want to make a simple mod for uh, starts. Yes, this is a good idea and make sand edible and placeable like low berries. Yeah, yeah. So the this is the reason. This is one of the things I usually don't. Uh, I don't. I usually don't show how to modify existing blocks, uh, because it's a little bit of a. Uh, it's uh, it's like it's sort of like one of those things where it's like don't mess with with like uh, power you haven't earned. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna break my rule at some point and and show this. But yeah, it's um. It's hard. I don't even know what direction to point you to toward to to be honest. That's a that's a bit of a bit of a thing. Um. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Pla uh, tutorials on custom entities such as tridents. I I don't know about tridents to be honest. Maybe unsure. The power of mixins. Mixins are very powerful. But that's like that's even a level further than. You know what we what we're discussing before. It's like Mixons is crazy. We shall embrace it. Sure, absolutely. I mean, listen, it's uh, it, it they are very interesting. Um, Mixon are very very interesting, and they can be used to great effect, right? I mean, and now with Neo Forge split, we're probably also going to have a lot of Mixon in uh, Neo Forge. It's going to be interesting. It's gonna be very very interesting indeed. Uh, but yeah, that is a that is a rough overview over here. Yeah, um, I watched the tutorial. What does it mean? Uh, why you didn't just register the vill villagers as a profession, not both? Oh, I understand. I see what I see. I see. So a villager profession, right? To to so you know how in uh, how in Minecraft when you have a for example a farmer to get the farmer or to get the um the the the, the librarian you need to put down a lectern, right? So that then it gets the it gets the um it gets the profession. That is the poi. Right? So you need to um you need to have a a point of interest, a custom point of interest type to get your custom profession like added to the villager. Like it needs to go somewhere to a to a point of interest to actually receive that profession. That's why there was also a point of interest in there. That that was the idea. If mods will make their own ominous events, I mean, most likely. Usually, when there's a something interesting that's being added in um, in uh, vanilla, I'm usually very interested in um, in the um, in what modders are going to do with it. Uh, 
Um, was following your entity animation tutorial, how to make, make walk animation. The, the walk animation doesn't play. I mean, that's a... Uh, could be all sorts of things. It's it's crazy. Um, it's It can be quite a thing. Are you going to make tutorials on making mods multi-platform setting up common classes? Maybe. I don't know yet. Uh, probably in 120.5. We're just I'm just going to have the three series running. Forge, Neo Forge, Fabric. That's the plan at least right now. And then I'm going to see... I'm going to play it by ear on whether or not I want to do Forge or not. Because I might want to drop Forge. I don't know. At this point, it, I'm, a, I'm a little bit annoyed with it. Uh, not that... Listen, not that I would know how to deal with the Forge. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to do the Forge project myself. Absolutely not, right? But that's also not what I'm doing. I'm a, I'm a modder, so there you go. Um, but, like, the, the latest, like, um, 120.1 version was broken for, like, several weeks. And they didn't fix it. I don't understand that at all. Is the uh, big difference between Forge and New Forge code? Yes, there's going to be a huge difference. It's going to be crazy. I'm not a Forge or New Forge dev, but I'm using architecture. That's fair. That's fair. Ominous events are like hard mode. Yeah, I think that that's going to be a huge thing. That's going to be awesome. Might not, uh, might not entirely, but I feel like it's left behind compared to other modelers. I think it's going to be. I I don't know how long it's going to be there yeah i don't know i mean we'll see also i mean listen i don't want to i don't want to say that i'm like responsible for anything like that i don't have that much sway but if i only do neo for tutorials and i don't do any for tutorials and they have bad like um bad onboarding as in they don't have good documentation Maybe people are just going to naturally like, okay, I mean, if if Calvindor doesn't do a Forge tutorial, then I might as well do Neo Forge. Just saying. Maybe. You know, I'm just saying. Could be. No, Forge has multiple people working on it, but I, I, at least I, at least that was the last, um, last, uh, I, I thing I know, but could be. Could be. Yeah. It is interesting, though. What's your thoughts on data-driven mods? Cosmic creations. I think that data, right, data packs in Java, they're going to be the future. The marketplace is coming. Boys and girls, it's coming. The Java marketplace. Hey, it's almost upon us. <laughs> it's going to be here. It's going to be here, and it's going to be glorious, because everyone's going to say, No! We don't want a Java marketplace! And I said, I, s I told you. It's going to be one year, two years, five years, it doesn't matter. It's coming. The Java marketplace. It'll be here soon. And then you'll say, why? And I, s I, I will say, listen, I said it. Is there really nothing I could do? No, no, you, the, the, no, no, uh, banana. Like there is a, there is a bunch of things you can do. You can replace, you can replace vanilla items and or blocks. Uh, right now, just out of my, like out of my brain, I can't pick how to how to do it. But you can do it. It's all add pops in. No, that is a bad timing, man. That's a really bad timing. That's crazy. How could you do this to me? I feel betrayed in a lot of ways. I feel betrayed is, is, is what I feel. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I mean, that's fine, I guess. <sighs> okay. Fabric def is missing a lot of thing. Yeah, well, all content on the marketplace is going to be Realms exclusive. Oh, God. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine if that would be the case. Let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that. Can I do this? Ooh. Wait, no. There you go. Go back. <gasps> go back! Okay. I personally don't think it's missing anything. Well, it is something. But! Uh, there's another thing. There is another. Once again, I want to uh, get your attention to the 28th of April. 12 p.m. CET, 
Uh, it's going to be Twitch, and I'm probably also just going to be multi-streaming on YouTube here as well, because I'm going to be real. Why the frick not? There's no penalty to it. Why not? Uh, birthday stream over here uh, on the 28th of April. That is a Sunday with an open end. We're going to be modding. We're going to be probably looking at community mods. We're going to do play some Minecraft maybe together. There's some cook stuff that's cooking right now. There is... I don't even know what else. There is... Mm, Playing games, having fun, all sorts of stuff. Game development, who the frick knows? I don't even know, and I don't even know. But mark this in your calendar if you uh, want to, um, yeah, if you want to join, uh, and then we'll see. I am, I will be turning 29 over here. Um, so it, it's one more year, and then it's all downhill, and it's all downhill. Then we'll see. But yeah, the 22nd is going to be morning Monday. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So this is going to be birthday stream i just want to already like for the people who might not be able to make it next week right i just wanted to be able to put this into your mind there also there is an event in the uh on the discord you can also uh, join that one in as well so if you actually take a look over here uh there is an event right here count joe's birthday stream so you can mark interested and then you will be good to go or you can also get the stream announcement role in the discord and then you will be pinged when a new stream is commencing basically including morning mondays and any other streams that might be happening but this is it next time it is going to be a modding monday again and that's going to be on the 22nd of april that is a monday if you can imagine that modding monday on a monday who, who thought of that okay who, who, who thought of that yeah same place same time we will be looking at more community mods um I don't know yet. I have a list of so many that are looking really freaking cool. We'll see where the uh, where the where this leads and where it goes. Uh, of course, if you do want, if you have your own mod that is somewhat like like you can show it off at some like a little bit at least, um, then you can join the Discord server right here, and you can post your mod if you have it on Curse Forge or on Modern, for example. You can post it in the community mods channel. And it is then, I don't want to say eligible, but then I'm, I basically look through this and take a look at certain mods. Birthday party hat is going to be cat ears. Listen, the birthday party is going to be all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, I'll probably honestly do some sort of subathon type deal with like a with like a bar at the side, and then it fills up as people do stuff. And then we're gonna have a we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a wheel. I'm probably gonna do a wheel of like punishments and and funny stuff. And then every time, like, uh, there's a sup or something like that, then we're going to spin the wheel. And then it's going to be all sorts of fun, right? Like, biting into an onion. Uh, what else is there? Like, I don't know, something. Uh, hot sauce. Uh, stuff like that. Fun stuff, because why not, okay? You got to have some fun while we're young. And uh, in German, what we say is we'll never get uh, together this young. Because that's that's just the German spirit, okay? We are, we are a bit of a weird people. But regardless of this... Thank you all so much for joining over here. It is a uh, it was a it was a great morning Monday. Okay, we did some good stuff. It worked out. It worked out in the end. And um, yeah, mark it on the calendars next week, twenty second, as well as the twenty eighth. Thank you so much for joining over here. And I guess I hopefully will see you all next morning Monday. So yeah.